Hi everyone, in this video we will be looking at the setup and installation of the rainwater collection part of one of Filtershop's rainwater collection bundles. Uh, this will be a simple guide with tips on what to do and what to look out for, so let's get started. In the basic bundle you will find the rain head filter, first flush diverter, 480ml tank filter mesh, some PVC pipe fittings and glue. We do recommend before installing a rainwater collection system that you decide whether you want to use a single gutter or multiple gutters piped to a single point. In this case we've used three drains all feeding to a single point which will then feed into a single collection tank. Okay guys now that your gutter point has been selected or your multiple gutters have been brought to a single point it's time to start assembling your rainwater collection system. Now before you do any gluing you want to first measure and cut the PVC pipes and the fittings into the correct heights and positions for your particular storage tank or your um, particular wall that you want to mount it on. The first flush diverter assembly is the whole component that diverts the flow of the water from the drain pipe into the storage tank. So you'll want to make sure that the diverter is set to the correct height and that the 75mm pipe feeding from the diverter is the correct length and in the correct position that it will feed into the tank. Once you've aligned the diverter correctly and you know that the pipe will be feeding into the tank, you'll probably want to just mark the pipe so that when you come to gluing, you make sure that it's in the correct position and you don't glue it in an incorrect position. Um, also, just a side note here, when I was making this video, I did this installation by myself. You can see I was struggling quite a bit and I quickly found that this is actually better as a two-man job. So if you do have someone that you can call on to give you a hand, I would definitely call on them. Now that the PVC pipe has been measured and cut to the lengths we want, we can start the gluing process. We're going to start with the 110mm length of pipe that's going to go between our leaf catcher and our diverter valve. First take some of the PVC primer or cleaner and wipe the outside of the 110mm pipe. This will remove any sediment or dirt that might cause the glue not to form a strong bond between the pipe and the leaf catcher. Once you've finished applying the primer, you can then apply the glue on the outside of the 110mm pipe. Once you've finished applying the glue to the pipe, press it into the leaf catcher. Make sure to press it in as deep as possible. Then take a rag or cloth and wipe any excess glue that's come out when you've pressed the fitting in. You'll want to repeat the process when attaching the diverter to the bottom end of the 110mm pipe. The next step is to glue and attach the 110mm to 80mm 75 adapter into the side port of the diverter valve. With the 75mm pipe attached, we can now attach the 75-80mm elbow. Keep in mind that this will be what feeds water into the storage tank. So when installing it and putting it onto the pipe, you want to make sure that it's put in a downward position so that the water flows down into the storage tank. Now we come to installing the diverter into the diverter valve. This is the important mechanism that makes the whole system work and without it, the diverter will not function correctly. It doesn't need to be glued in, but simply slid in as you can see here. Now with the diverter in, we can attach the 110mm pipe to the bottom of the diverter valve. And the final part of the gluing is to attach the drain restrictor valve to the bottom of the 110mm piping. Before mounting the assembled rainwater collection system, remember to remove the top cover from the top of your tank and replace it with the 480ml filter mesh provided with the kit. Finally, with everything glued and assembled, you can now mount the unit to the wall using the screw points at the top of the leaf eater and the hole bats or pipe mounts provided with the kit. And there you have it, just a brief overview of the rainwater installation bundle. If you have any additional questions or think we may have missed something in the video, please contact Filtershop. Otherwise, thanks for watching and all the best.